Hello, and welcome to the Adventures of Siberia. We are playing Space Engineers, and this is Agaris, the water planet. Welcome back guys. I am super excited to have you back here and uh, I cannot wait to get started on this new episode. So check this out on our last episode. Uh, we went ahead and uh, we made the helicopter. It is not only a welding ship but it is also a grinding ship. So I plan on making good use of that ship today. Um, now, the thing is, initially when I started this save, um, I thought to myself, I don't want to use thrusters to have um, vehicles flying around to carry my oars and things like that straight off the bat. And then later on I implemented the propellers, and as you guys seen, uh, propellers, you know, they work great. And technically, the way I've been building, they've been kind of replacing um, thrusters. So I thought that in order to be fair and continue to use the propellers with flying vehicles in a way that would be uh, both functional, where I can weld things in the case of the Hela Machapa, um, and to go out, let's say, to a field where I'm mining ore or something like that, and be able to collect it and bring it back to the base, for an example, I'm thinking one of those airplanes that land on water, one of those seaplanes, and what if we put some wheels on it so we can land on the ground? Which would be awesome that we could take off here from the base and then land at the location of the ore and then be able to bring it right back, land it back here and so on and so forth. So let's get started. I got all the mods linked in the description. By the way, guys, if you were following along, all the new mods are set up on there as well. So yeah, let's get started on this build. All right, all right, very well. Um, so I've set myself up with some scaffolding and the landing gear over there where I'm going to start building. I also set myself up with a connector here because once I start building, I am going to want to weld things. And uh, the way that I'm going to transfer our materials from the bargee to the Helma Chopper over here is through that connector. So let's get the Helma Chopper over to the bargee. Let's go ahead. 
Whoa. Now you gotta remember, I do have aerodynamics on now. So this, the way this flies is a little bit different. It's a little bit more finicky instead of, uh, you know, what we saw last episode. But it's a compromise that I'm willing to take here um, in order to have these planes that we're about to do. I am super stoked. I am super very stoked to get started on this build. Um, I've been playing around in creative with the mod, testing it out, doing a bunch of things, and I came up with some cool designs, and uh, I hope that I can share this one with you guys today. So here we are, whoops. Let's go ahead and get that properly connected there. So here we are on the connector. The water did rise, so we're kind of underwater here. And uh, once I'm ready, let's go ahead and uh, turn our dampeners off. I can then go ahead and use that to grind things. And uh, wow, the water went way up. Anyways, let's get started with a cargo. Um, now, since this is going to be an ore carrying vessel, um, then we are going to need some cargo. And I'm thinking that I can do five cargos here to get this going. Um, however, I should, prior to all of this, actually get started with our tanks. Because buoyancy is going to be crucial to this vessel um, functioning properly. So let's go ahead and get a set of tanks here. So let me get my bearings here. I want this, let's go all the way to the front here. So this is gonna be the front of the, the, the plane. Um, and um, I want to set myself up with a connection point here for what I am going to be doing up here a little later. So this conveyor is what's gonna fuel all of these guys basically. Um, so, this would be it right there. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six. So two, three, four, five, and six. Yes, that is correct. And I want to do three layers of these guys like this. Just like so. And that's going to be the undercarriage of the where the cockpit's going to go and all of that. So let's get some more here. I want to get these tanks done as quick as possible so that I can start fueling them, which is part of the reason why I'm by the water here, so that I can just pipe a collector and a hydrogen generator right on top there and uh, just call it a day. And that's going to be that. Now, before I get to the other ones, the lateral ones here, I'm gonna need an H2O2. And I'm going to start setting up the innards of the plane and the things that I'm going to be using here. So right in front of this hydrogen generator is where I'm going to be placing my, my cockpit. And then from here on out, it's pretty much all cargo. So this is why I left this conveyor open right here. So I can remove one right there, and then I can set up another conveyor right here, and that's where this cargo comes into place. So it'll line up with that. Let's jump back over here. I am not good at this whole parkour thing. All right, um, and then on this one here, I want them, I want the, the uh, conveyor to be sideways and the reason is to make it uh, into the wings that's where we're going to be doing that uh, so I'll be able to convey um, the hydrogen into the flotation devices there onto the wing so let's go ahead and set this one up as well so I think I want to go with let's see here one two three four and five so that's one two three four and five one more, five, there we go. This should work. Now, I'm going to add a couple more tanks back here just to complete this whole section. So that's the middle section there. 
Now, I am going to go ahead and start setting up my wings. Um, I think that's a very important part of what I need to do next here. And since this one is sideways, we're gonna start pulling our connectors from there. So what I wanna do next is I want to get the Helimachapa in the air to weld all of this up for me. So let's go ahead and do that. So, oh, come on. Let's go ahead and go into the inventory of the Helimachapa. Uh, I already got some stuff in there. Uh, let's see here, cargo. So we got, I think that should be enough steel plates there. I don't need the windows for now. Uh, gonna need some motors. Don't need these for now. A couple of batteries, so probably gonna need more. Let's go ahead and get some construction components, some of these. Um, yeah, some computers. I think I should be good there. So dampeners, let's go ahead and uh, remove ourselves from the connector and uh, let's go. Let's go weld some stuff up. So here's the great debut of the Weld of Machapa. There we go. Weld me up a storm, buddy. Oh yes, this is so much cooler than the way I've been doing things. Oh yes, makes it a lot easier as well. Look at that, got almost everything done. Look at that, I just don't think I have enough for the actual H H2O2 there. But let's go ahead and jump into the first person view again. Look at that, we managed to get most of it done. Um, let's go ahead and place the stuff on this side that we can and go pick up some more. I probably forgot some steel tubes or something. All right. Welding as much as we can here. All right, very awesome. Let's go ahead and park it up and pick up some more materials. There we are. Loaded and ready to roll. Oh man, look at that. Life is so much easier when you weld things like this. All right, very cool. So that centerpiece, which is our cargo, is done. Even the other side, ah, oh, that is awesome. Let me go ahead and park this puppy back up. So for the next step here would be to start setting ourselves up with some wings. Now there are a few different sizes and all of that that they have here. I want the uh, four by five and so that would be this one here. And I wanna go ahead and place it right in the middle, like so, right there. All right, so here it is. This is the one that I was looking for, the two by one. And I wanna go three long with this. We will definitely be needing some wings, this wing span here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and set this up on the opposite side as well. For this side, we're gonna go over this one, and uh, where is it? Oh, the other way, this way. Okay, this is the two by one that I was looking for. So this one, this one, and there you go. So now let's take a look from above here. Uh, there we go, there we go. So this is the beginning of our wingspan here. Um, I want to go ahead and start working on the piping so that in the middle of the wing here, about here or so, I can have more flotation devices that are going to help keep this afloat. So what I mean is this. First off, I need to get some flaps or air brakes, I should say, so that when we are about to land, we can, you know, slow ourselves down a little easier maybe. Uh, and they go in that direction. So one, two, three, four. I'm gonna go with five right there. And that brings us to um, the end here, which is really cool. That works for me. Let's go ahead and finish the wing with these little flat ones. Like so, the one by one. So one, two, three, and then one more right there and that will be our wing. 
And then the middle there gets filled in with piping and all that kind of stuff to make things happen. So we should, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get that done. So over here, I can set up a bunch of conveyors all the way to when we get here, where the flotation devices are gonna go. There you go. So something along these lines, and then I can match the height of these tanks here by doing this as well, like that. And then I can just set up some tanks here. Let's go with uh, hmm, three here on this end and three on the front. Let's do that. One, two, three. And again, these are gonna be three thick. So one, two, and three. One, two, and three here. And then again on this side. I won't bore you guys placing all of these on the other side. I'll just cut to when I finished it. But I am gonna go ahead and match the other side as well. And then in the middle here, just to make sure that everything is conveyed, we'll go ahead and place these little conveyors right there. And this should pipe everything up and make everything work. So I'm gonna go ahead and rebuild uh, this side on that side and I'll be right back. So now I'm gonna go ahead and fill in the wing on this side here as well. I already did the other side. Um, and then we're gonna go ahead and jump into um, the Hella Machapa and get this all welded up. I cannot wait, this is gonna be so cool. I cannot wait to get this flying. And um, <clears throat> very soon, I'm gonna be able to uh, set myself up with these guys here as well to uh, make sure that we have plenty of buoyancy. And this should work as far as carrying the weight that this particular ship is going to be um, carrying. I will do a quick test flight on it from this point on. So I'm gonna set up a cockpit just right over here. I'm gonna set up a, a, a control seat right there. Just a little platform there, and then I'm gonna climb back up there and put a chair on it. So, let's see. Do I have one on here? Give me a seat. And then I just pop it right there. Can I place it from here? Yeah. Perfect. There we go. Yes, yes, yes. Very cool. So, I can mold it. Oh cool, I do have a choice for it. Maybe not. All right, I think it's time to get the helmet Machapa and I gotta get these batteries and the wings welded up. So let's do that. Okay, here we are. Let's go ahead and get these wings all done. Yes. This is working so well. This is working way better than I thought it would. Get these tanks welded. And I should have enough because I'm super heavy right now. Alright. Gotta make sure not to hit the bargy while I'm doing this. Oh look at this thing. It's starting to take shape already. I'm excited. I am excited. We're gonna be taking on air. And um I want to use this to go find some cobalt because we desperately need some cobalt around here. Very, very awesome. Look at all this. Let's go ahead and weld everything we can weld. This is so awesome to be able to do this. Ugh. 
I seriously should have built this ship a long time ago. Look at that. Look how much faster I get to wall things now. Very, very cool. Alright, let me park this ship up and uh, I'm going to go ahead and start setting up the tail wings and uh, hopefully we can go take this for a test drive relatively soon. We need some engines on it, some propellers, and then go from there. Okay, very well. So now um, I want to get started on uh, the rear wings. So I, I'm just going to set myself up with a little bit of a, just a little bit of a support here for the wings are going to go on top of that. So let me set this up here like that. And then we're going to jump on top here and work from up there. So, okay, take two. Now we're going to jump on top. Now we're gonna, come on, really? Really? All right, take 73. Now we're gonna jump on top here and hopefully, there we go, cool. So I'm thinking that I can start setting my rear, blade, uh, rear wings here from this angle. And what I'm trying to do is this um, so right above the connector we'll start off with a couple of these like so and these guys are going to then connect to one of these and one of these like so come on place it and uh, from that point on, I can then flip these on the other side over here like this, and then the wings will attach to them like that. So here and here, and then I have four, um, uh, the blocks there that I can uh, put my wings on. So let's grab some wings uh, here. So let's go with the, this is the, the one, yeah, this is the one I want, yeah. Or this one, is this the one I want? Eh, let's go with the little one. I think this might be a little better. I don't know, I might change my mind later. We'll see. This is purely aesthetic at this point. And then on the rear end here, um, I want to go with, uh, one of these just to kind of give it a twist to the opposite in there so now we have a tail for our lovely plane look at that this thing is starting to really take shape um, I need to place some gyros on it and the propellers now the propellers I'm thinking we're gonna do one here right there one there one there very awesome as far as gyros I think I think four is perfect for this one and the reason is uh, again just the test flights that I've done in creative before um, I was able to get away with three honestly to uh, three gyros on it so let's do three and then the four fourth one is an override gyro and I'll explain that once we take flight so let me get this welded oh yeah Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> it's taking shape, man. Look at this thing. I'm in love with it already. I cannot wait to just start greebling this. This is going to be such a fun build. I, I already know it. All right, let me park it up. And um, I need to charge this up a little bit. So I'm going to let that charge. Um, and then we're going to do a flight test. Ha ha ha, just kidding, details. Um, first thing I need to do actually is fill up all my tanks or else we ain't going nowhere. So um, I'm just gonna set up a quick little rig here. And uh, all I wanna do is suck up some hydrogen 
into a collector. I'm sorry, some ice into a collector and um, turn it into some hydrogen. We do have the H2O2 here that's going to be filling all of this up for us. Um, I might add some more here so it doesn't take 50 years to do so, but we'll see. I need more materials. Urgh. Give me stuffs for this stuff. Let's go ahead and uh, set up a conveyor pipe, uh, conveyor junction here. No, actually, no. Uh, collector. Yeah, let's grab a collector. And the collector can go here like so. Yeah, that'll collect there. And then I can actually, uh, to make this speed up a little bit, I'm going to place two more uh, hydrogen generators here, like that. And uh, that should suck up some uh, ice into the hydrogen generators um, and fill up our tanks. So let me weld this up again. Ha ha ha, hello Machapa to the rescue. Here we are, let's get this thing welded so that I can fill up these tanks. All right, there we are. Come on. Good little welder ship. That is such a good little welder ship. I really am in love with this thing. <laughs> it is so awesome to be able to do things a lot faster like this. I know I already said that like a hundred times, but most likely I will say it another hundred before the end of this episode. So. <laughs> There we go. Um, we got that in the water. Oh my. Yeah, it's still in the water, so it should be collecting ice. If not, we're just gonna wait for the tide a little bit, but whatever. No big deal. Let me park this up, and I'm going to literally just let this sit here and collect hydrogen. And I will return temporarily. And uh, when I return, by the way, we're gonna do a test ride. Yeah, we're definitely gonna test this thing out. Um, I want to make sure that it floats and I want to make sure that it flies. <sighs> That's lovely. All right, very well. Everything's piped up and the tanks are starting to fill up. This is going to be a while, so I'm not too, too worried about it. I'm going to let this sit for a bit and um, we'll be back when it's done. All right, very well. Um, so I decided that I want to put some wheels on here before I take it down and do this test. And I'm going to go with some of these plain wheels. Um, now, from what I've seen, they are a little bit buggy sometimes. However, um, I managed to do my tests, like I said, and they worked. So we're going to go with them. So let's set a wheel there, set up a wheel there, one more in, come on, perfect. And, um, and then I want to set up some wheels on the bottom here as well, and I want to go with some little ones. So I'm going to have to grind the floor here in order to get in here because I can't place it from right there. So I'm thinking something like this, um, where is it, right there, right here, boom. And then we have all the wheels that we need and we should be good. Um, yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and grind this down. Um, it's still not 100% full, but I think I can grind it already. And uh, I added some more hydrogen generators here to speed up the process because these are taking forever. Um, why is this on zero? 
because I never welded this. Oh boy. I wonder if it's taking forever. There you go. Now we're connected. Now we're connected. Did I get these guys here? I think I'm gonna move this actually. Now that I'm looking at it. Just for the height. Um, or else it's gonna be too low on that side. So we got this here. Did I miss the other side by any chance? I sure did not. Okay, so this side's good. Yeah, this side's filling up already. We're at 40% there. These guys are filling. So things are working on this side. But as far as the wheel here, I think I'm gonna go ahead and just place it directly under and uh, a little bit closer to the front of the plane here. So let's go with maybe right here, something like that. And I'll, I'll play around with these. I'm, I'm most likely they are going to be moving uh, depending on um, how the test comes out here when we start taking this out. So come on, place it right there. Th 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 uh, uh, come on one more time boom all right cool got it let's weld these guys up i need some steel tubes and such so i'm gonna go ahead and weld this up and um get this ready for flight and since i'm working on the wheels let's go ahead and um i want to set the the strength and height and all that stuff while i'm at it and a couple of commands that I'm gonna be using. Uh, let's see here. Yes, let's do that. So now I can sit on here and get my wheels. Now, the two by twos, I don't want these to steer. I just want the rear one to steer. And I want all of these to have a good amount of strength because when we land, we kind of impact pretty hard on the ground. So I'm gonna start with, let's do 50 and go from there. Also, you want to increase your uh, speed limit to max for when you're taking off. Also, give it some power. So there we have it. Um, until these are filled, I can't really do much. So I'm going to go ahead and cut to when these are filled. Very well, it looks like we are finally full. So what I want to do is grind this off so that we can get our materials back first off and make a little room to drop the plane into the water and then take it for a test drive. Um, now, what I wanna do here is just remove this whole platform that I built. It was supposed to be a temporary one anyway. Uh, I never really meant to weld this stuff up. It was just so that I could drop the plane right here in the water and make life a little easier. But let's go ahead and do all of that right now actually. So I'm just gonna go ahead and grind it and just take it out of here with the plane right on top. And I'm going to leave the last one, the last block, which is the one that is holding it up, the one that the landing gear is standing on, basically. So this one here. And the rest all goes. And boom, Burr, come on, Bo boom. Okay. Let's go ahead and jump onto the cockpit here. And um, I wanna set up a couple of controls before I do anything. So the air brakes, definitely wanna set these guys in a group called air brakes. And uh, this is what's gonna help us land safer. Now, um, I'm gonna set that as my number two here with an open and close. Um, Let's go ahead and get the propellers. So it's this one and this one. Uh, propellers, props. And I'm gonna call it SD. So I know which ship it is. Um, all right, so let's grab that. Groups are propellers, uh, not these, these, yeah. And these we can do in on off, and then we can also do and decrease override and increase override for when we're taking off and such. Um, what else? Uh, let's go ahead and grab our cockpit seat. 
you know what let's not I don't know which one it is so let me go ahead and grind this down let's go ahead and take that out and uh, yeah look at that all right awesome um yeah let's try to take this for a flight let's see if it flies I hope it does okay so flaps testing one two everything is good let's go oh <laughs> um our batteries are are not set to uh auto there we go now we should be able to do this in three two one nose up and oh yeah baby we are flying look at that oh this is so awesome this is so awesome i am so excited um let's go closer to the road here and find a spot that we can land so that we can test this out on land now i know there's a lot of trees here and this might not be the greatest idea but i'm gonna try it anyway so as you're coming down you kind of want to give it a little gas so you kind of hover as much as you can don't hit the tree don't hit the tree oh don't hit the tree. oh 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 that was that was pretty bad <laughs> um all right yeah airports and landing strips are definitely going to be a thing in the future here um we're definitely gonna need a spot to take off from and uh land for sure all right so let's see if we can take off i think i found a little area here that's got plenty of room let me back up a little bit more might take out some trees along the way but hopefully i can nose up good enough there to go so let's see Oh, come on, come on, come on. Straight, 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 straight. Oh, oh. That counts. That counts. It counts. <laughs> All right, so I need to fix that a little bit. I think that the reason why a lot of it isn't working is uh, it didn't work as well is because I have a lot of flat areas. I haven't really greebled this to look like a plane yet. Um, so... Yeah, it's time. It's time to do some greebling, and uh, I cannot wait. I think this is gonna come out really, really awesome. And I wanna fine tune it and uh, just make sure everything's working, ru uh, running fine on it. So let's get back to the base and get the greebles on the road.
right all right man i am super stoked with how this came out i am completely in love with it it takes off in no time it flies amazingly i am just so happy with I, i'm just so happy with it there's nothing else i could say so um yeah a couple of the things that i did here I, uh, I have a main gyro that I set up to override. Um, with my experience, most of the planes, they do tilt forward or backwards a little tiny bit. Um, I believe it's um, if you're off the center of mass there. So um, a gyro on override takes care of that. I also set up my propellers to um, override where I can max them out pop that nose up and set that gyro to override, it takes off on its own. It's very smooth, very clean. You can do that while you're landing as well. So guys, thank you so very much for watching. I appreciate all the love and support. I am super stoked. You guys are helping me make this channel grow. Um, man, I, I'm just excited to be able to participate in such an awesome community with you guys. So. Guys, uh, if it's your first time around my channel, please consider subscribing. And uh, if you've been around here before, you know what to do, man. You know what to do. Guys, have a great one, and we will catch you on the next one on the Adventures of Siberia.